Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up and use Voice Mod Voice Changer with Twitch and Stream Elements so you can let your chat take control. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. This is a pretty easy extension to set up and get started. Let's go over to Google, search for Voice Mod. It should bring up the website, www.voicemod.net. We're just going to give this one here a click and it's going to load right up. Now this is going to have a button right on the first page that's going to say, download voice mod for free. Just give that one here a click and this is going to load to another page where it's going to ask you to log in with either your Discord, your Twitch, or your Google account. I suggest logging in with your Twitch account here. This will prevent any account issues or problems you have. This will connect it to your Twitch account. If you don't do it this way, you, you may have a few issues or run into other issues. If you do for discord you might it might not be connected to your twitch account so keep that in mind click enter with twitch it's going to ask you to authenticate your twitch account you must click authenticate or you cannot use it same as with any extension though it's the same process just give it an install and authenticate it once that page loads up it's going to say download started and it's going to start downloading it's going to give us some basic directions to open the installer file and install voice mod this is going to be like any other application we're just going to give it a click windows is going to ask us if we can install it Click yes, pick your language, click OK. Next, voice mod takes control of your voice. The number one voice changer and soundboard for games and content creators alike. Install the software, just click next. You have to accept agreement here. It says, please read the following license agreement. Go down through and read that if you if you prefer, we're going to click on the accept the agreement. Make sure that you install it in the default location. I don't suggest installing it other places. If you have run into issues or problems and you have it installed into another, another spot on your hard drive, it's hard to fix it. So leave it in its default location and click next. Okay, and another few options here at the very end. It's just going to ask you if you would like to create a desktop shortcut and create a quick launch icon. We're not going to create the shortcut. We do want the, we do want the icon on the desktop because you are going to have to launch this each time that you want to use it. Click next, install continue with the installation and click next to and click the installation for it to continue. Okay, once it's completed, it's gonna say voice mod setup. We're gonna give this here finish, leave this here launch voice mod check. Click finish. We're gonna just minimize this window for now. Okay, welcome to voice mod. With your account, you'll get personalized and consistent experience with any devices. Enter voice mod, log in, activate it, minimize this again. It's gonna warm up, takes a little bit of time. This should only take a few seconds. Cleaning your earwax, <laughs> getting ready, participate, you know what I mean? Uh, okay, it'll give you a select your microphone and select your speakers. We're gonna just leave this here. Boom, boom, boom. There, we gotta get a little test to it. You guys probably can't hear it. I sound like an idiot. Okay, we're just gonna click all done. Okay, there we go. Now that it's installed, the voice changer is on. From here, we can go to the soundboard, uh, the pro club, the creator. It'll say voice mod live. Let your viewers use bits to change your voice in real time. So if we click on that one here, it'll say an error occurred. To complete this action, please link your Twitch account and try again. So we're gonna click the connect Twitch account. This is gonna go through and authorize. Okay, we had to link it twice, but that seems to be okay. We'll just open voice mod again here, remove that error. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Twitch. We're gonna go in here and go to our creator dashboard, go down to the extensions, and we're gonna type in voice mod. Okay, we're just gonna click on this here voice mod and install it, click configure. This is just gonna be here so that we can add it as a panel. What we wanna do is add it over here as panel three, add as a new panel, then we're gonna have to authorize it again and then click done. Okay, we're gonna go back to our channel, go to our chat, scroll down just to make sure that it loads up here. Perfect, we're just gonna minimize this here again, close this here configurations down. We're gonna close this down and close this one here down. Minimize this window. Okay, once it loads up, it's gonna show here a couple of your things. It'll all load up with this here voices and stuff like that. We're gonna go to the creators tab again and gives us in here a click. This is gonna load up some information, say that we're connected and it's gonna say the voices in here. This was the hardest part for me. This took me forever to find out. Back on the webpage here, it took me a long time to figure out how to get them in here. What it is is you needed to go to the creators tab click on that and go to voices and actually add your voices in here. So you can add the free ones, you can select the ones. We're only gonna be able to pick the free ones and then add the voices. You can just select the voice from a drop down menu. It's only gonna have a couple, so we're just gonna add a few of them here. Uh, save, add another one. We'll just go down to the crave. 
we'll go down here, click save. This, like I said, this was the hardest part, figuring out how to get here each time. This was a very big pain. I just had to little look again. And we're gonna add this one here and we're gonna click save. Now, once these are saved, it should show up on back on our homepage. We're gonna go check. We're gonna give this here page a refresh. Go to the chat, scroll down. There they are. Now, we're just gonna go in here. If we click one of these here and redeem it, now we should be able to hear ourselves. Okay, there we go. Okay, and you can turn off the background effects as well. Um, that was just a, it, it's gonna have a little bit of feedback. It's a little bit of an issue. Just one second, I'll change it for, I'll change it for the other one here, just one second. I have to change it for you guys. So I have to add this in here. What you need to do is you need to go into OBS, go into your, 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 um, go into your mic settings, go to your properties. When you're picking a default mic, make sure that you pick the voice mod virtual mic audio device. Make sure that one's set to your default. Once you click OK, we're just going to go click on that one again. Just one second. We're going to do Ruby just to see how it goes, just to see if our voice mod works over here. Um, we have to make sure that you click the change. You have to click it twice. So it's change user and then change user again. Make sure you keep that in mind and this is what it should sound like. And this is what it should sound like. And this is what it should sound like. This is Ruby. And that's really everything. Once you change it in OBS and have it all set up in the voice mod, make sure you add a couple of things here. It's in the creators tab. When we go to voice box, this will be the page that loads up. Make sure that you go down to the creators tab, click on the live voice mod. If you're not connected, it'll make you connect. And then from here, just go over to the voices. Just add the voices you'd want. This is an easy way to set up a voice changer. It's got new free ones every single day. And you can, there is a paid for version. You can only use the ones that are available for free. And if you don't have bits anyways, this is a really good way to get a couple of free ones. You can pay for it and get a lot more of them, the ones that aren't free. I definitely think this has a lot to offer to the community. They control you. They can they can take a little bit more part in your stream, and I find it quite a bit of fun. But like I said, it's free with a pay option. If you do really like it and you want to support the community or you want just access to all the other features, there is an option there to, to pay for it. It's not that, it's not very high in price. It doesn't cost like an arm and a leg to get. I do find the free version though off offers enough for me that I would never need to pay for it because it's just that good free out of the box. But just keep that in mind that there is a paid option. If it has limits that you aren't really good with and you want more out of it, check out the paid option. That's just a, that's just my opinion though. There's lots of voice changers out there. There's lots of other programs. This is just one of the ones that I found easy to set up. So that's the one that I'm doing the video about today. But that's it. That's all there is to it. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.